Folks, good day. I hope you all are doing great. We will talk about something which is very interesting. It's geometry. What is geometry? Geo. The term geo is earth and metry is measurement. So geometry is an understanding of how shapes exist. By shapes, I mean triangles, rectangles, squares, circles. You have, you have them everywhere, right? We will study geometry in two dimensions. Let's look at the shape on the board here, it's a square, kind of a square. What is it made up of? It's made up of lines, right? Like this is a line, this is a line. It's made up of lines. So when I bring lines together, they can form shapes. The question is, let's look at these two lines. Do they form a shape? Not really, because they are parallel lines. They will never intersect somewhere. So if I extend it to infinity, they will keep going parallel to each other. What if I have a line like this? So these are intersecting lines. Two lines can only intersect at one point. And at the point where they intersect, they form an angle between them. That's one part of understanding geometry. The other part of understanding geometry is what kind of angle is it? Is it a right angle, which is 90 degrees? Is it an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees? Or is it an obtuse angle? which is more than 90 degrees. So let's call this angle between line A and line B as angle A. Let's call the angle between line B and line C as angle B. All right, now, when you look at it, it's very easy to understand. The full angle is nothing but the sum of the two angles. Two angles that add up to exactly 90 degrees, such as in this case, are called complementary angles. Let me put another line here, which is line B. So what do you see? This angle is exactly equal to this angle. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. All right. Two angles whose sum is 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. Now let's use, let's make slightly it a little more complicated. Instead of one single line, let me have two lines. So three lines intersecting at one single point are making three angles. Let's say this is 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So the sum of these two is 60 degrees. Then the third one becomes 120 degrees, which is 180 minus 60. All right, folks, I have two lines. Let's label them line A and line B. All right, angle one plus angle two is 180, angle two plus angle three is 180. That means angle one should be equal to angle three. And these kind of angles are called vertically opposite angles. One pair is one and three, another pair is two and four. 